best game right <laughs> 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 because uh, Tottenham at Tottenham Stadium, they're hosting Liverpool Football Club, and in, in one of the uh, just uh, wildest games, I, we know the final result. It, it was it was two one. Yep, but there was uh. Uh, two one two red cards. That was the red cards alone. That wasn't even the score. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah. There were uh, two red cards issued uh, for uh, for Liverpool, and and they were, look, they were playing with nine men, and it was just it, at what point you it felt like they were gonna hold on, right? But it, what ended up after this game, what being the actual story, uh, was the decision to overturn. Uh, to or, or I, 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 mean, I don't even know what words to use. I'm gonna say not over to over. <laughs> yeah, we don't I, even know. Really, doesn't even matter what the refs don't even know. They still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Luis Diaz scored a goal. It was a great ball, a great pass, and great goal. It uh, the, uh, on the field, it it turned out to uh, they called it offside, and uh, we were all watching the game, and we're looking at it on screen right now. We're looking at the moment of uh, uh you know, of where. You would you would put down the offside lines and and just and move on with your day, right? Yeah, you right. And, and you you could punch out and be like, I did the day at work, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's all you gotta do, just draw I the did, lines. I did my job. I put down the little lines, okay? And they did not. So I'm watching the game uh, like everyone else, and I I see that they there's no lines. Yeah. Nobody put down any lines, and then they just say um, uh, check complete, keep it moving. Offsides. Uh, uh, no offside goal. goal does goal doesn't count. And really, don't really think about it much more. You just be like, okay, that it is what it is. Uh, but that is not what ends <laughs> up being the, <laughs> the the story after this match, because uh, it, you know, just essentially what ended up happening was after the check complete, we learn that the VAR Darren England, and this is the problem when you know the VAR's name, that's a bad yeah. sign. <laughs> that ain't good, man. That ain't good. You, you never want to know that guy's name. <laughs> My man should be in the shadow. You should yeah. never hear his name. <laughs> Uh, but Darren England, and then, then the assistant VAR, Dan Cook. Why do we know your name, dog? <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. The assistant VAR, bro. <laughs> like, uh, come uh, on. Uh, I, I, this is like, it's hard to relive all yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be mad <laughs> all over I again. I got to tell the story. Uh, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> So what ends up happening is uh, they check complete. They, keep, they, they kick off, and the game uh, keeps going. But um, because he said check complete, so apparently what happened was that he th uh, that Darren England thought that it was a goal on the field, yeah. which is why he said check complete, confirming the goal. Didn't realize that the, the 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 linesman and the ref were saying that it was offside, and that's it. He 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 did the check complete, confirming their call on the field because he thought the call on the field yeah. was a goal, which that just brings up a billion other questions yeah. of like, bro. Are you watching the you, same game that we're watching? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Because when you, you watch the game, if you're watching the game, we're all watching the game. If you see Luis Diaz's reaction after the goal, it's, oh, man. Right. What do you think it is? <laughs> you think he's going to be doing this and being all upset they if, don't have if that they goal, call it a goal? They don't have that goal celebration in FIFA. No, the, the angry, <laughs> sad, yeah, why like, did I do that? How come the ref, mad at the ref? Yeah, that's man. not a happy goal celebration. <laughs> yeah, like, so if they're not, if they don't see that, because we all saw it, we're like, oh, it's it's going to get ruled out. And then we see the replay. Oh, no, it's not. Right. If, if, if he doesn't see the reaction from Luis Diaz, and I'm pretty sure they probably had a, a shot from the from the sideline with the flag up, <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. So, so if you're not watching that, what you watching, bro? Like, where are you watching? And V, and I can speak to this. I don't know if you've ever done this, but I went to uh, Alexis and I. We went to a, a soccer coaches convention, the mm -hmm. one that they do every year, the United Soccer Coaches. Um, and MLS had a VAR booth where you could be be the VAR. Oh wow. Right? And and you're and it's you have about uh four four or six screens. It's, this is probably like a minimal minimalized right. version right. of yeah, yeah, what yeah. VAR is. Um so I'm sitting there and and literally I have like um Sabiga. Robert Sabiga, <laughs> okay. like one yeah, of the MLS yeah. referees yeah, like yeah, all, yeah. over my shoulder and I'm like the pressure's on, bro. <laughs> but I see every single angle. I mean, just definitely what the, t the 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 TV broadcast does not see. I I saw several different angles of different plays. There's there's it's almost impossible to not uh, look. I did VAR for 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 eight minutes, <laughs> eight minutes and I did, I could have got this call right. That's that's a bad sign. Yeah, that, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> so the, the, and and look, they the, the initial um, you know after the game they they put out the response and basically the the, the statement saying like uh, PGA MOL 
I just confirmed that it was a it, it was an error. It was yeah. just a, like an objective human a, error. Human <laughs> error. And then when you realize what the human error is, <laughs> it's just so remarkable that it's just a no, that's not what I said. No, no, no. <laughs> what? What you? No, I. You know what I mean? But it's, that's my question. Like when that all happened, you can't. And you see that they're like just continuing play and they're not giving the goal. Don't you just be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hold up, hold up, talk to this guy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. stop. Like, why doesn't that happen then after? So it's not just one human error, right? I mean, just the fact that already it was already twelve versus nine, I guess, you know, in that game. Uh, but that's just my that's just my fandom coming out. Sorry about that. But it's like you, you know they had so many opportunities to still stop this and get it right, right? And they knew it's a human error. The guy who made the call knows. Oh, that's a mistake. Yeah. This is this is messed up. I, I, this is not wrong. This is not right. <laughs> like what what's going on? And then they don't do. They don't call down, and it just continues on. It's wild. It's wild that this happens in a Premier League game for Bro. this to happen is insane. And it it, it kind of just highlights like the the yes the Premier League they have the most money and the best players and blah 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 and the most fanfare and the most eyes and everything. No. And it, there's just something they they generally tend to have the worst refereeing. They, they, every week, they're... they're Easily. Seats. Every week. It's gotten... But the thing is, that's too. It's gotten progressively worse since VAR came. And I think that's really everyone's big problem. Like, before VAR, we could accept, you know, like a bad call here and there. Oh, he missed the offsides. Oh, he got like a foul wrong or whatever. Yeah. Now, bro, that you have computers telling you exactly well, what happened. There's no excuse it's anymore. Yeah. It's it, And that's the big issue is that via, now the conversations are happening about should we get rid of VAR? We don't need it and blah, blah, blah. Uh, the game was better beforehand. Maybe it was. But, like, I don't know if you ever read uh, um, Arsene Wenger's uh, uh, autobiography. And, and he talks about the, the corruption yeah. in refereeing yeah. that it almost it, – he almost – uh, uh, he he left France because of it. He yeah. was just like, I can't. I think he went to Japan because he's like, I just want <laughs> to be get around. out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Somebody, I hope there's just more honesty over yeah. there. And look, so I think the the people calling for like get rid of VAR that that's not a reality in my no. opinion because the game can be so. I and mean, we've already lived it right uh, the, in so many decades of just like unbelievable. Uh, uh, you know what is it? No era penal and, no, and yeah, whatever. Mexico, yep, yep, <laughs> no era Mexico. penal. Yep. So we we've been through it. We can't. We, now we have a new, like you know, uh, uh, area to direct our anger at, and it is it is VAR. It, it has to be focused on making this better. Yeah, look, it has to be better. And and look, if, you know, on the real, you know, I'm not for, take Liverpool out of this. Like every team's gonna get screwed at some point. Like it's just gonna happen with right. a refereeing decision. So I'm cool with that. But what happened this weekend and having that, allowing that human error, that's just bad on the sport. Here, that's just bad for the sport from A to Z, from, from any country you're talking about, any yeah. league. This is not what you want to see. You have VAR for a reason to get these calls right. You can't have an error like that, especially on the biggest stage in yeah, front yeah, of the dude. world <laughs> uh, in a massive match that, I mean, look, it could cost Liverpool top four. It could cost, if they're battling for the title. Millions. I mean, you know, millions of dollars. Millions of dollars <laughs> for, for one guy getting a call wrong so and the fact two that they admitted <laughs> two guys it's not even one it's two Dan Cook you're not getting away with this <laughs> yeah yeah Dan we Cook know so, yeah. We, so, we know you're wrong too Dan we know <laughs> it, it is uh, it's wild and you know you work with Christina Uncle yep. who I, I, ju we, I just got to hang I, I see her from time to time but I got to hang out with her at the EAFC yep. uh, launch and I, I and, and I think people like her uh, um, just putting a, a, a face and a voice to two referees uh, to to add some uh, humanity because we get mad at referees in every sport uh, and it's nice to uh, just have a person like oh, okay this is their perspective right. and uh, so I've I've grown a, a you know a, a, just a lot of sympathy for for referees yeah. but this is one of those things of like you know Dar Darren England <laughs> and <laughs> Dan <laughs> Cook <laughs> did this work. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it's, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> what happened? Why is it not working? Wow, hey, he's man. Dan Cook. He's in our and, own systems too. And much. Dan Cook. Uh, they were they were uh, both taken off of their uh, assignments the the next uh, day. I forgot what games they were supposed to uh, call. Yep. But they um, uh, and they we just hear all this stuff, right? All these uh, uh, stories about them. And and, uh, and this is why I mentioned uh, Christina Uncle because she was sort of talking about the, the the concern people were having that that um, the refereeing crew was assigned to a, a Saudi charity game charity or something match. like that. In the UAE. Yeah. In the UAE. And 
Uh, so then uh, Christina Anka had brought up like, okay, are we going to talk about uh, the, the uh, how overworked some of the referees are and like and the travel, and especially in, in Major League Soccer where they have to travel thousands and thousands of miles from, from match to match. Like maybe this opens the door to start thinking about uh, – the, the quality of refereeing, how we're treating the referees, uh, yeah. uh, th- things along those lines. But it's so I'm like I'm stuck between the two. I'm like I have some sympathy of like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, they, maybe they shouldn't be working 40 hours before in, you know, at, at taking a, a 15 hour flight or whatever. But that's but that choice. That's on them. Yeah. That's their decision. They to go. Got, I don't they got paid. They got paid for that. that right. Yeah. Like well. in, in most situations, I will agree with, and Christina Uncle, you know, I've had these conversations with her uh, in the past. I haven't had a chance to speak with her yet since this whole situation, since, since yeah, this yeah. happened at, uh, in Tottenham this weekend. So I would love to get her perspective on it. But this, that was their choice to go over sure, there and sure. get paid and, and get that. That wasn't the over, yes, right, referees right, right. Yeah, are overworked, fair, especially fair. here in Major League Soccer. Like you said, I mean, it's, it's a haul for them to get from game to game and, and things like this. But the, in this case, with, their, with, with these guys from England and they're in England, I mean, it's like, Come on, man! Like you, you, you have a you're scheduled for a match for your main job. It's like me trying, me trying to like, oh, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, it's MLS day today, uh, but the day before, even though I got a 14 hour work day, the day before I'm gonna go take a job in uh, in Europe somewhere, <laughs> and, and then expect and then fly back and expect yeah. expected to be on my game for you know my main MLS gig here. Damn, you know I didn't I mean? know. Like, I didn't know Stefano was the Wolves sideline <laughs> reporter. <laughs> yeah, have just to show be. up over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big man. win, big win this weekend for the boys. <laughs> My man is in Birmingham the, the, the night before a big day.